So you were talking about, I guess, the, the whole thing you talk about is kind of getting yourself out of that state of mind as quickly as possible and getting on top. But do you think we need to change that the culture around speaking about things? Because maybe this is younger people and what might start off as a small problem, but because they suppressed it, do you know what I mean? They, they, done whatever it is that they do. So you mentioned uh, making music, listening to music, watching TV. But what happens when they've done that for a long time and all that happens is they basically put their problems on hold for a long time. What happens then, that's when potentially maybe it can develop into a diagnosable mental health mm. condition, right? Mm. Do you think there's, there's yeah. more that we kind of should do? Would you like things to be different? I guess. Um, yes. Like at the same time with me, I hope. Like, I'm calm. If it ever gets really, really bad, then it's like, I just think, in the future, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to have, like, all this, like... Yeah, yeah I'm going to buy you a house. I'm going to be calm. Exactly, like, gonna be I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be doing better yeah. than you, and you're going to be suffering and yeah, regretting yeah. not staying with yeah, me. Yeah. So that's your problem. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, I know where I'm going to be, and mm. I'm not necessarily going to let whatever's going on now really affect yeah, me, because yeah. I'm probably not even going to remember you in 20 years. So mm-hmm. it's not that deep. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. You kind of go along with that. Mm. So kind of long term, rather than in this moment in time, things are a bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It's not good to dwell on emotions. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Again, I was talking to Kilmer. It's, it's not hatred. Is hatred, pain, anger, rage, depression. It's not good to just sit on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's very to just like let it go. Like even no matter how big it is, I know how, to, how deep it is, just let it go. Mm-hmm. Because if you hold on to it, mm-hmm. the worse it gets. Yeah. Exactly. You're just gonna cause yourself more pain. There's no point. Exactly. Okay. So last couple of questions. So you were thinking about you were thinking about getting support. So maybe you've been feeling this particular way for a while, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you don't think that you can do to shake yourself out of that. And you figure actually I could do with some professional help. I'm going to reach out to, to an organisation. What would you expect the organisation to be like and look like in order for you to get something from it? I don't even know, you know. That's like. So um, imagine it's your first day. Maybe, maybe, maybe imagine it's your first day here at Forty Second Street. Yeah. Yeah. You've never been here before. What would you expect to see when you come in the door? What would you? What would you hope your experience would be? There's an elevator. In an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't know, I don't have like a blank slate in terms of that because like even if I'd never been here before, like I know like my friends not necessarily been here but have like been through stuff like that. So then they've already told me like did you like you have like not a questionnaire, like a quiz type thing that you have to fill out to see if you have certain things and then you kinda go from there and whatnot and you get like assigned to like a set person Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Which kind of just seems long to me. I'd rather just like waffle, like get asked set questions, but I chat too much anyways. So then I'll probably end up telling you everything without yeah, you even having to ask me. <laughs> yeah. And then sorry. you can tell me what's wrong and how to get better. Okay. What about yourself? What would you expect or like to see? Um, I don't. I don't think I'll be able to sit. I won't be able to sit here and just constantly just like talk to you about. It. I feel like it would have to be there, but I don't have to be practical. Mm. Because then. It makes you feel better, I think. But <clears throat> if you were just, if I was just sat here talking to you about it, then I just feel like, you know, like this person, just like anybody else who I've told this to. Mm. So you've got to get something practical from the worker. I feel like actually not only you're listening to me, but you're, you're listening so much that you can give me something that can help me out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 